So another quick tip video, this time about the buffered modules from SQL that will help you with quantizing events to the clock you are using. Here I have some drums, again the gate sequencer, sequencing tremor 2 and tremor 1, kick, snare and hi-hat. Right, and now let's say that I want to mute and unmute the kick, but I want it to happen in time with the clock, so I don't have to be exactly on the beat, and yet it will be quantized similar to how clips work in Ableton or in between. So in this case I'm using, or I will use, the buffer toggle here, the slim one, the stereo one, again from secret cell I will send the kick through it first, and then back to the mixer. Right, and now I will use also the clock, and keep in mind that everything will be quantized to the clock division or multiplication you use. So in this case I will use a clock division of 4, which will give me 1 bar, right, which I have here. This will go to the clock input of this buffered module. Right, now I need a way to arm this module so it will wait for the next clock. And there are various modules you can use for this. Of course you can use a MIDI controller if you want or something like pulses that will give you multiple triggers or gates. There is also this uh, button module from uh, RCM, right? You can also name things here. So here, for example, I wrote kick, right? And you can use also the push module from VCV with something like the 202 module from Submarine. Again, just to name everything so you know which is which. So in this case, I will use the push module. The trigger output will go uh, to the arm input on this buffer toggle, so we have clock, we have arm, and the kick is going through it, right? And now I can arm the module, and the kick will come in and out according to this clock division. It will always wait for this clock. Right, again, in this case, it's a divided by four, so it will always start at the beginning of a new bar, or mute and unmute at the beginning of a new bar. Okay, here I have also a bass, this is kick all from Befaco, being sequenced by the Euclidean sequencer here, with a lovely chain, some chorus distortion filtering, sounds like this. Right, and now in this case, let's say that I don't want to mute the audio itself, so I can also use this toggle module to mute and unmute gates and control voltage in general. Right, so I will take the sequencer, right, the triggers from the sequencer, send them, first to this module, to this buffer toggle module. Right, and again I need to use the divided clock, so everything will be happening together. And I have here another push module that I can use to arm it, you can see it says here bass, so now again I can bring the bass in and out, but now listen when I unmute this, because I'm muting the triggers the voice will still decay down, right? So if this is what you want, if this is the effect you want, you can also mute and unmute triggers. Now this module has also a gate output that I can use, for example, to reset the sequencer, so it will always start from the beginning, right? I'm using here a Euclidean sequencer, it's set to a length of 12. This is not sitting exactly with the bar, so I can use this gate output to reset it, so every time I unmute the kick all or the bass, also the sequencer will start from the beginning. Right, just like this, so we always have the same result. Here I have another voice, this is slips. The sequencer, sequencing the VCO, this is going through two different uh, bandpass filters, it's sort of a stereo voice, and it goes also through some delay, some of this. Right, and now in this case, I would like to have the delay fading out after muting this voice. So I have here the another buffer toggle module before the delay, this is the bigger one. So it's easier to see, I want to show you here there is also an envelope that we can use to fade in and fade out the voice for example, so it's not just muting, it's also fading in and out. So again, I will connect the clock, clock division of 4, so everything is together, right, I will send the voice through this back to the delay, 
right? In this case, we have a stereo voice. And again, this is before the delay, right? And I have here another button that I can use to arm this module. So for example, now it will come in, right? And if I uh, mute this again, this will happen with the clock. The delay will keep fading out if we have a bit more feedback, for example. Right, so you can also use this before effect, so the effects keep fading out. And again, we can have also fade in and fade out. This will prevent clicks, of course, at lower settings, but this can also help with fade in and out again, according to the clock. Right now, the last thing I want to show you is changing patterns on a sequencer, again, quantized to the clock. Here again, I have the gate sequencer and I have a few patterns uh, set here. Maybe I'll just solo the drums for a second. Right, so I have a few patterns uh, set here and let's say that I want to perform this and again, I have it quantized to the clock. So I will use another module from the same collection. This is the buffered gates module. Right, in this case, we have eight channels that we can use to generate in sync gates and triggers. And we can use this to drive the sequencer forward in patterns. So again, I will use the same clock division divided by four for one of the channels here. Right, the trigger output will go to the sequencer number input in the right-click menu of the gate sequencer, by the way. You can change how this will work. So you can use voltage 0 to 10 to change patterns. You can use notes or with each trigger, this will move one pattern forward. Right, and I have here another button module that I can arm this. So now again, every time I click it, it will wait for the next clock and this will move the patterns forward. But you can see this also quite visually here on the gate sequence. So you can see it will always change at the beginning of the bar. Right, so like this I can perform also the sequences. And everything will be quantized to the clock. Again, according to the clock division or multiplications that you use. You can see how useful these modules are. There are a few more versions as we've seen before. So you can choose um, the one that fits your needs. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.